Hello Commanders, I hope you're having a good day today. In today's video, I want to talk about Trip Tucker, the new Epic Officer that was released this month. Talk about some of his benefits, um, especially since we have three weekends starting tomorrow where we will have spend events to acquire his shards. Personally, I think he's a fantastic officer, will be a great addition to your crew. Um, so we'll look at, at what he has um, in a second here. But if you're new, if you will please hit that subscribe button, it really helps me grow the channel. Um, and once it grows big enough, then uh, the goal is to do more Battle Pass giveaways. Right now, out of my own pocket, I'm just paying for that. Um, but it gets a little bit bigger and it's easier to, to, to do things like that. So will I be able to do one or more? Um, we'll certainly have to see, but I really want to take a moment and uh, really uh, send a big thank you to everyone who has subscribed. You know, it's, it's because of you that I'm, I'm able to continue doing this and have fun doing it as well. So anyways, let's hop in and let's talk about Trip Tucker. So first off, let me pull up here from stfc.space and we'll look at his his abilities chain of command he does not have a captain's maneuver so he is no good um, he was the chief engineer aboard the enterprise um, and so why well, i guess he has no ability to be captain he has an officer ability things blow up and this is interesting when you take damage from a hostile or another player, Trip Tucker decreases your opponent's critical, critical damage by 50% for two rounds. So with everything we've been going through with the new Zindi hostiles, um, if you've got the research, then this should kind of negate this in a way. Um, it scales up to 250%. But this would decrease your critical damage by 50% for two rounds. So it's talking purely from a PvP standpoint. It'd be interesting to see how this plays out in the PvP realm. Because um, he reduces it, but if you have either the new Prime, or if you've done any of the new research, and if you're free to play, you're still working on that, I know. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see, because that new favor in the X board... Um, sets a minimum that cannot be reduced. And so this ability doesn't seem super helpful for that reason. Um, for now, it can, but later on, who knows? So we'll see how that goes, but it does start at 50% and scales up to 250. I think for most players, and I wouldn't be surprised if we have people that unlock tier two or two or three or more this month, um, and I initially start to say two because I think people will probably try and go for him over each weekend. If they have extra resources, they may dump extra into him because of the value that he has to the game. Um, it's, and we'll, we'll look at the announcement here real quick in a minute, but it's interesting how Scopely's kind of designed this spending mechanic this month. So first off, let's look at that and then I'll pull up the news announcement in our base and we'll read that too. Hand in the cookie jar, so increases the amount, and this is below deck ability, of course, but increases the amount of resources you get from destroying Herogen and Species 8472 Hostile by 30%. So you're going to get more when you're hitting the Herogen for those Herogen Relics, uh, but also the biotoxins that you need for your turn-ins for artifacts. Um, interesting that this is going to increase what you're getting. So... Um, when, when, when I'm running my crew, um, I have Enterprise Picard, I have 511, and I have Neelix. Neelix reduced the cost to do the summon, so he is incredibly valuable there. Um, as high of a tier as you can get him. But then also Tucker, uh, so Neelix is lowering the cost, but then Tucker's making it so you get more for each hostel. It's interesting. As I was going through the different systems in the Herogen loop, for those who don't know, it doesn't seem like you get significantly more um, Herogen loot as you go up in higher level systems. I think I'm up to about level of level 54 some system, something like that. And so just interesting uh, that they finally have an officer that's going to help out with that. So 
they didn't do it right, and they came out with an officer with an ability to fix that, which of course they can monetize and make us spend more, but that's besides the point. So that starts at 30%, works its way up all the way to 150%. So now let's hop in the base and let me find it here. Okay, recruit Trip Tucker, heroic. And that's because as I understand it, they're gonna have eight tiers go back to a system where if you can complete all tiers, and it's gonna cost a lot of materials, and if you're a free-to-play player, it may not be possible depending how much you have saved. Um, but if you can complete all eight milestones, as I understand it, you're going to get full unlock that weekend. Um, I think it goes back to the, the seven of nine, not the fleet commander, but the epic officer. Um, I was able to unlock her that first weekend, and I just saved the other weekends. Um, so I didn't have to worry about that. But so that should be how it works. I think they kind of look at the first four milestones is the SMS and the other, the uh, five through eight, I guess it is, five through eight as the heroic piece. So um, good luck spending. I, I, think, I think he's going to be a fantastic officer. It's interesting here where it says eight milestones extra heroic event for a full mock. <clears throat> Full unlock at any point during the month will allow further upgrades by in-app purchases. So what it sounds to me like here is if you're able to unlock him this month, then you'll be able to go and actually spend real-world dollars to buy more shards. So that's interesting. Because um, I think in the past... They've kind of just allowed you to just spend materials and that and that was kind of the big thing was let's just have this just spend and you want to compete in solo leaderboards, SLBs. Um, I think one reason why they're doing this is they only have an SMS this month, no SLB, and that is current as of this first iteration. It's very possible that they can change that. Um, in the second and third iteration, I think they're going to see how it goes this first weekend. Um, I heard rumors that the spending for officer events has been down, and so they're trying to shake things up a little bit, given the fact in mind that they don't have nailed down yet, because there's been a lot of uh, feedback, a lot of backlash, if you will, um, on the 50-plus where you've got those people that are in the 60 range, um, they're competing all the way down to the lower 50s, as I understand it. And so they're trying something new, trying something a little bit different, even though it's similar to what they've done before with the heroic to get a full unlock. Uh, but they're trying to do something different here to A, encourage us to spend. So whether you determine it's valuable or not is totally up to you. I'm going to probably go for it the first weekend, see see what I can get. Um, some of the costs will require Latinum maybe, so I'll have to decide if I want to spend that just because some of my buildings require quite a bit of common. Go away. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that I'll be able to do well and unlock him, whether that's the first weekend or in following weekends, we shall see. Um, but I think he has significant value because as I put out videos before, um, I've been able, and, and I'll show you where I'm sitting at right now, and I do daily turn-ins for all of my, oh, that's not what I want. Sorry, I want to go factions. Talking and clicking apparently is not my forte. So I've been able to do daily turn-ins for my faction credits. So these down here, and the higher your rep, the more expensive it is. And I want to say it's in the 3,000 range, 3,000 scout messages for 1,550 Romulan credits a day. I'm at 7.12.5 right now, and I'm saving for a million so I can get the Sanctus, hopefully, when I get to 56. Um, but if I hop into my other... And I did do some of this during the incursions with the <clears throat> loot um, exocomp. But I have almost 400,000 Klingon messages. 
two forty Romulan and two twenty three. I I got about what was it two hundred and sixty one thousand Romulan messages. I was almost out, so that's why I know I basically ran out the day before incursions, and I was able to get this back up to two sixty uh, one. So um, not too bad. And so this is gonna you, you can check out my video. I'll, I'll put a link in the description below, but you can literally get thousands and thousands and thousands of these scout messages without much effort, but it's using the Voyager summoning ability in specific spaces in, in the DQ space. So super helpful. Um, getting those credits is gonna make a world of a difference, but you also, cause you have to balance out um, summoning in that space versus summoning for the biotoxins for your turn-ins for the artifacts. You know, and it usually works better when you have a little bit higher tier of a Voyager, but this will allow people to maybe do it a little bit sooner, um, or you're just gonna be able to stock up like crazy on these messages um, and have more room for um, artifacts. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how it plays out, but I, I see a lot of value in Trip Tucker. Um, so um, I would say go for him. I think he's fantastic. I'd love to hear your comments below. If you, th if you think he's a great officer and someone you're going for, or for someone you're just going to skip and you're going to save your resources for next month. So anyway, that's the video for today. Don't forget to um, hit that subscribe button. I mentioned that before, but it really does help out the channel. Like and uh, hit that bell notification. It really helps to grow the channel. I uh, appreciate you so much, and we'll see you next time.